It's a photograph of Auntie Lauren and me. And Joey, too, I guess. So, Auntie Lauren was a medium as well. All this time and I never knew. It's funny. With Joey there, we almost look like a real family. Joey crashes yet another photograph. He doesn't look happy. That's definitely Auntie Lauren. Even way back then, Joey was following her around. How did she manage it? Joey crashes. He Joey crashes yet. Joey? Yeah? What was Auntie Lauren like? What do you want to know about her for? I just do. Can't you tell me anything? Hey, we've got lots to do. Ask me later. What was my grandmother like? Her? We have to talk about her? What's wrong with her? Nothing. Forget it. Ask me later. Joey, you're in this photograph. Oh, so I am. That was Jack and Maria's wedding. My parents? Yeah. Can you tell me anything about this picture, Joey? Oh, yeah. I remember this. This was taken about 40 years ago. Your grandmother insisted on it. So that's my grandmother? Yep. And that's my dad? And Auntie Lauren? In the flesh. Can't you stay still? Huh? The way you float all over the room like that, you're making me dizzy. <laughs> you sound like my mother. You're just gonna have to get used to it, babe. Can you ever leave? Leave? What do you mean, leave? Leave. Get out of my apartment. Go somewhere else. What, don't you like me? What's well, not that. It's just, well, what about privacy? I'll turn my back when you're in the shower, don't worry. And what about personal space? I'm a ghost. It's not like I take up any space. You know what I mean. Sorry, darling, no can do. I told you I can't travel far from my... hosts. I can go maybe 30 feet before something stops me. That must be annoying. Eh, it's not so bad now. After 25 years watching your aunt drool, this is like staying at the Ritz. How did you die? Excuse me? How did I die? Yeah. That's a bit of a personal question, isn't it? Is it? Yes! Sorry. So what can you actually do? Do? As a ghost. Any powers or anything like that? What you see is what you get, dear. I can float through walls as long as I'm still near you. But you can't touch anything. Not really. Not really? Well, you remember that breeze you felt when I manifested myself last night? Yeah. That's the extent of my physical presence. Neat trick, huh? Not really. Everyone's a critic. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get going. You coming? Yeah, sure. It's open. After you. Yeah. Could I ask you some follow-up questions, Kelly? <sighs> Fine. Make it quick. Could you tell me about the other two girls in the photo? Oh, them. You know them? Only to Joanne. Do you know their names? Blonde girl is Allie, I think. And the Asian girl? She's Susan. 
Tried to avoid them when they were here. Really? Why? Look, I need my space. Joanne needed her friends around her. So whenever Joanne turned this place into Social Central, I had to split. They didn't care for me, and I didn't much care for them. Do you know anything about Joanne's friend, Allie? You mean Miss Blondie? Yeah. I know enough, which isn't much. She was over here all the time visiting Joanne. She was kind of sweet, I guess. Laughed all the time. Oh, cause I was annoying. So it was usually my cue to get out of here. What do you want to know about her? I'm having difficulty finding her. Would you know where she is? I don't know. She could be anywhere. Studying, partying. Pushing up daisies. Shh. Huh? Nothing. Right. I don't suppose you'd know anything about Susan. Not much. Quiet, I guess. Maybe she just didn't talk around me. I never stuck around long enough to get to know her. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Thanks again, Kelly. Whatever. The future Mrs. Davenport? I wonder what that means. I recognize her. That's Joanne. That's her. The ghost in the park. She looks so happy here. I wonder what happened to make her... like that. Can I...? No. Joanne and I might not have been buddies, but I'll be damned if I'm gonna let some stranger pop through his stuff. Can I use your phone? You what? It'll only take a second. Fine, fine, just hurry up. Who do you think you're calling? Hello, could I speak to Joey, please? Hi, Joey? Um... Yes, I had some questions for you. Ah! <laughs> not bad, kid, not bad. If you got something to say, say it quick. Lady Pincushion here is starting to look a little hot under the collar. You performed a little trick for me earlier. I'd like you to repeat it for me. Trick? Joey, do you see the pile of papers on the desk? Yeah. I need you to work your magic on them. Sure, sure, I can handle that. Thanks again, Kelly. Yeah, sure. Nice one. So, congratulations, kid. You committed your first burglary. Is that what I just did? For the greater good, kid, for the greater good. That makes me feel so much better. Looks like standard poli sci lecture notes. It looks like Joanne liked to doodle in class. The last set of notes in this notebook are pretty strange. I'd better take a closer look. Please note, Dog Walking Park is closed until further notice. Hmm. I don't want to, but I guess we should talk to the ghost again. Don't worry. I'll do the talking. Hey there. Remember me? No. Maybe. You're a little... Out of sorts. How do you feel? Lonely. Sometimes. The deacon made me lonely. Got into my head. Made everyone go away.
Are you friends with a girl named Joanne? 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 Beware of Joanne when her plans unfurled, for she intends to take over the world. She had to go away. He drove her away. She didn't understand. Is your name Allie? Yes, that's me. Allie Montego, a story and song. She kisses the boys, but not for long. Cute. Well, Ali Montego, at least we've confirmed who you are. Can you tell me about your friend Susan? Quiet Sue. Little Lady Lee. Always neat and always fair. Won't say much, but you'll know she's there. Lady Lee? She had to go away. Stupid deacon. Sending away all my friends. Even the little, little ones. Can you tell me who the deacon is? The deacon is the deacon. We called him and he came. He got into my head. He's scared. He's diseased. He's made me diseased too. Now everyone goes away. Look, just sit tight. We'll figure this out and we'll be back. That place is creepy. What? You don't like dogs? You know what I mean.